The Blue Angels are celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. The group is one of several military acts taking part in today's Kansas City Air Show. Blue Angels Executive Officer and Commander Todd Royals joins us now. Todd, it is an honor. You've been doing some amazing things. Thank you for taking time. First, happy 4th of July to you. Tell me about being in the air show there in Gardner, Kansas today. Oh, happy 4th of July to, uh, to you as well. Thank you for having me on. What an amazing opportunity uh, to celebrate our Independence Day with an air show in Kansas City celebrating our 75th anniversary. We were formed in 1946. Uh, as well, in 2021, we are unveiling two new platforms, uh, the Boeing F-A-18 EF Super Hornet, as well as the Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules. So just a really historic year for us. Uh, it is an honor any year to be a part of this organization, but in 2021, on the 4th of July, also there in Kansas City with the United States Air Force Thunderbird. So a very historic day indeed. And when you talk about taking up the Super Hornet, debuting a new aircraft, how difficult is that? Because you all, you guys already have the most difficult, precise training and maneuvers. How much more uh, challenges does it add to have the new, the new plane? Well, you know, we had a, a, a transition team that was stood up for several years going through the unique differences of the F-18 EF Super Hornet. So uh, they were former Blue Angels that flew the aircraft. Um, and then we have a very extensive winter training syllabus, over 120 training flights that we do out in El Centro, California, before we start the show season. So, and, uh, and then due to COVID and the loss of a season last year, all of our air shows were canceled. We actually froze the team, so all of the demonstration pilots are returning. Uh, so it, it really helped the transition that we had an experienced team, an experienced crew of maintainers uh, to unveil this new platform, and, and we absolutely love it. Commander, my mother-in-law, Dorothy Zello, many years ran an air show in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, where you guys flew. And I got to see up close and talk to you guys about what goes in to becoming a Blue Angel. You are the best the Navy has to offer. Talk for just a moment about how hard it is to become a Blue Angel. Uh, you know, we're just a cross-section of the fleet. We come from the fleet, and we're going to go right back to the fleet when we complete. This is only typically a two- to three-year tour for us. Uh, so it, it's a strenuous application process. You know, most of the, the pilots on the team have about 10 years of flying uh, fleet F-18. So uh, it, your, your reputation is built in the fleet. And then you interview, you come down here, uh, meet the team in person, travel to a couple air shows to see what we do behind the scenes. Uh, and then we select the team and then you, you come here for two years. Uh, and it's a, it's a grueling tour. We go to roughly 30 to 35 cities throughout the summer, every single weekend, demonstrating and representing over 800,000 sailors and Marines who are forward deployed around this world. Uh, but it's, it's an honor for us to be able to drop into America's backyards and, and yeah. give the American taxpayer uh, a glimpse of the teamwork, the professionalism, and the pursuit of excellence that exists across the Navy Marine Corps team. We just get to do it as Blue Angels on a weekly basis. Commander, I've only got about 15 seconds, but what's it mean personally to you to be leading them? Uh, you know, this, uh, this is a tremendous group of professionals. We have 150 sailors and Marines on this team, uh, and it, it's, it's truly an honor to be part of the leadership team here. Yep. Commander Brian Kesselring, our commanding officer and flight leader, yep. uh, is the commanding officer. But uh, to be his deputy commander and, and yep. help guide this organization, it's truly an honor for me. Thank you very commander much. Commander Todd Rolls and the Blue Angels.